this is Janice. Thought I'd take you on a little outing with me today. And it's very warm in this car. I got the air on, but I got on low so you could hear me. I just stopped at a store called Dollar Days. I shall, I'll show you a little snippet of the outside. And this is in um, Claire, Michigan. Um, it's a little rural town. Very cute. Omnish country, actually. Hi, everyone. I'm going to do a, a vlog today. I'm out shopping in Claire, Michigan. It's a few towns away from me. I am out shopping at a store that I really love called Dollar Days. It's kind of like a oh, family dollar, general dollar, and Dollar Tree, and just a discounted, really cool, everything you want at the sun store. <laughs> and I love coming here every oh, so often. And of course, I always find some good finds, really reasonable things. And I just show you about the outside of the store. And I love coming in here and just looking around. I'm by myself. Sometimes I just like getting away by myself and have a little breather from the boys. They drive me crazy. That's my husband and my brother. <laughs> uh -huh. I've been with two older men, if you know what I mean. So I like getting out and take a little drive. Not going far because, as you know, gas prices are high. I know it's a little bit cheaper in this town than mine. I see in the 455 and the 4. I thought I seen 454 up the street. I do need to get gas. But I'm gonna go up the street a little further where I think it's cheaper. I don't mind doing that. So if it would be, it would be a couple cents, but it's just, just the end of this town, which is really small. But this is a really cute town. Let me flip you over so you can see it. We have enough festival here. I forget what kind, but I gotta look it up. I love going to festival. This time of year in the summer, there's a lot of festivals going around in this small town. We have our Clare County Fair coming up here in a couple weeks. There's a great elevator to the left. I don't know if you've seen it, but this is the, the town area, kind of a downtown. Not much to it, but it's cute, quaint. a subway of course <laughs> and little shops here and there a lot of my clothes down during it oops and over here is cops and donuts looks like someone's alarm going off in the car didn't see it hopefully you can see it hard to try and it's always busy but their donuts are yummy and they got a movie theater here that they're Renovating. Actually, I wish they wouldn't because it's really like something back in time. So I'm hoping they don't change much, much of it. Maybe just do repairs. And right here is the famous Hotel Dole Tree. That is where the Michigan gang, the gangsters, would hang out back in the day. They'd have shootouts, killings in that in that hotel and in the restaurant. And then they say this hotel is actually haunted. I wouldn't mind staying there and finding out. I know I would love to eat at their restaurants. Go back in time and eat fine dining restaurants that I used to eat at and work at. I miss that. Okay, here's the green light. And yeah, right there to the right. And over to the left is the hospital. Really whole lot to see here, but you know, I thought I'd share it with you. And the other end of town here, at the northern part, we have a few shops. A really nice grocery store. It's that it too is like walking back in time. Uh, set up like old fashioned, but very good 
store is called Weeblix. And they have a Walgreens, which I just went to a little while ago and bought a few things for my hair. Um, bowling alley. All the necessity things you need in a little town. above this hill we have the family dollar we have a farm store and ace hardware here's a park to the left a slow park i think i passed it but anyway uh it, i go there sometimes but just back when you co couldn't go in the restaurants i get something to take out and sit in the park and just eat it Here, got some newer businesses. We've got auto parts store, Culver's, two auto parts stores, a lot of auto, auto zone, O'Reilly's, <laughs> auto store. And they have over here, they have Taco Bell, Save a Lot stores, which I like. Kentucky Fried Chicken. And again, like I said, Family Dollar, Ace Hardware, Verizon. Shell gas station. You know, these things you need to have close by when going into the bigger towns. And I am looking for a cozy for my pop bottle. So I can leave that in the car. Because when it gets warm like this, my 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 pop gets warm. I don't like that. I like it to stay cold. Right. Oh, they got a really good sandwich store called. Marcinos or something like that. I, I'm saying that wrong. Uh, Mangino's. Goodness gracious. Uh, oh, they have grinders, they call them. They're really good. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself a parking pot spot here and go in and check out Family Dollar. I just stopped and got a sandwich at Mancinos. I forgot how good they were. I thought I'd drive down to the park I just told you about instead of staying there inside and eating it. Really pretty. There's, there was a family out here having a picnic, but it's real quiet today. There's a few cars around. It's a very, very small park, but it's nice. It's a little roadside park, and it's quite nice just to get off here and take a break because we do get a lot of travelers that go through here and it's a nice nice little spot at the river I don't believe you can see it but it's just past and you see that railing it's called tobacco river I don't know why it's called that we don't grow tobacco up here <laughs> but there's some people laying down there you can't see them by the beach just enjoying nature is so nice and I see some kids not coming around some doggies so yeah this is I love coming here just just to give myself a breather 15 20 minutes you know leave myself some nice happy thoughts sometimes life gets to you you know nothing major just you know life in general I just like getting away by myself. I was just down the street at the park. So I'm going to head out to the road now and go down to that gas station where I think it's a little cheaper and get some gas. Oh, okay, let me see what the price of this gas is here. Usually this is the cheapest gas around. So we will see. Yeah, I'll see. That's right. 4.52. It's usually very busy. See if I get a spot in line. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. Anyways, no idea. Oh my god, I don't. <sighs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Guess it's worth a few cents off, right? Trying to get out, so hopefully I can get a spot. 
Is it like this where you guys live? You gotta wait in line for gas? This is ridiculous. I remember this back in the 70s. Well, that was about a 15 minute wait, I swear. The person in front of me, I don't know what he was doing, but he was there forever. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Is it worth three more, to save three more cents a gallon? Uh, isn't that weird? Just for three cents I did that. That was silly. But it's done with. The other gas station is pretty near that busy. Uh, we're crazy humans, aren't we? Just to save a penny or two. I mean, it adds up. I, I, I don't know how many gallons I got in the party about. I don't know. Ten? <laughs> so do the math. There's not much that I saved. <laughs> oh, well. Enough of that. It's a really cute, really nice door to the left here called Jay's Sporting Goods. Oh, I love that place. Collect your items. And I think fishing licenses are oh, they're already up for sale. Up oh, there goes a carriage. An Amish carriage. Now I'm heading home. And <clears throat> I really don't want to go home. Why? I, just, I have one of these days where I just want to be out and about. No one to be in out and about. This is working. I don't feel like bringing my husband along. I just, no, I don't want to do that. This Amish people walking. Alright. I wonder where their horse and buggy is. You know, the Amish women a lot of people barefoot. Yeah. They say it's more comfortable. My road back to my town. Very pretty. There's a hill I just climbed. Nice and hilly through here. I'm coming into my town. It's always exciting when you're close to home. Like I said, I don't feel like going home. If there's anything else I can do before I go home. I mean, it's a four o'clock. I don't sleep. Time flies when you're having fun. I always have fun with myself. <laughs> I enjoy my own company. Is that too vain? Or I think it's healthy. I really do. Because you're in charge of your own happiness and if you can't make yourself happy, then who can? Yeah. That's my philosophy after all these years. I always thought others can make me happy. No, don't work that way. Not at all. Make yourself happy. Good luck, little right. Sunday afternoon. I think the 
merchandise outlet. Our merchandise outlet is open to five. It's four to eight now. And pop in here real quick. I don't know why, just because I'm gonna still not ready to go home. Well, that place is wiped out over the holiday. All the campers and people on vacation come up here and they always hit that store and my goodness, the shelves are pretty bare. But now they're putting out Christmas stuff. I told them I wasn't ready for that. And they said, well, it's not our idea. <laughs> Who's ready for Christmas? No, Christmas in July, you know, sometimes, but no, no. We have long winters here, so <laughs> I want to enjoy this summer. Yeah, I'll leave it alone. Oh well. They'll have other things besides Christmas stuff. They'll be getting in their shipments. The other things that get in here is from Amazon, the leftovers, you know, like, oh, I don't know, just in pallets, you know, return. I don't know if it's returns so much or just things that didn't sell. I really don't know. But a lot of things in here is from Amazon originally. All right, I'm heading home before I spend all my mad money. <sighs> It's a little after 4 30, so by the time I get home and in there, I have time to make the boys dinner. You know, what am I going to make for dinner? <laughs> that seems to be the big question what's for dinner? I used to love cooking, sometimes I still enjoy it, but now it's, it, it, uh, it's a chore. Playing today, but it is a beautiful, beautiful day. It is so nice. Who wants to go back home? It is so nice out. But we're going. There is a little water splash pad for kids. Hopefully, you didn't see it. I drawn me. Well, beside me there, there's a water splash pad. Splash pad for kids. I don't see any kids out there, but it is a Sunday. Late afternoon, they're probably packed up, ready to go home, or go home to dinner if they're up here for the week, or live here. Are they on their way back downstate, or wherever they came from? It's quiet here, a little more quiet during the week. Not, but still, we have a lot of, still got a lot of vacationers up here, so it's not like the winter. Weekends are very busy here. Especially with the fair coming up here in two weeks. It's not this weekend, but the bottom weekend, so that'll be fun. I always enjoy the fair. <sighs> you know, here's a not made for short people. The seatbelt goes across my neck. How could that save my life? So it's going me to death. Damn. They used to have them so they're adjustable. They don't no more. And I got the seat as high as I can get it. Hope. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I'll see you in my next video and thanks for watching. Bye. Well, all the lights are on. It's daylight.